Okay, the loadout video, finally. So yeah, I've kind of been avoiding making this video for a while now, mostly because I don't see myself as a gear expert and I really do prefer to make the gameplay videos, but you guys have been requesting this for a while now and I thought I would finally make it for you guys. But just keep, keep in mind that your kit has to work for you and that'll probably take a lot of experimenting to find something that works with your playstyle. So keep that in mind and take my advice with a grain of salt. In this video, I'm going to show you mine and Opie's loadouts as they currently stand. And we're going to leave the guns out of it because that deserves its own arsenal video. To make this video nice and short, we're going to glance over some pieces of gear. But if I don't mention what it is exactly, just check the description. All right, before we get into the loadout, we're going to quickly discuss the philosophy behind the choices we made here. So as you guys probably know, if you follow this channel, Opie and I play only with GBBRs. We do that for the fun and the immersion and the challenge of it. But what that means is that we have a lot less leeway as far as um, limiting ourselves in other ways. The guns have enough limitation themselves. So that means we really have to be lean when it comes to all the other gear choices we make. So that means we're really strict with what ends up on our kit. But, you know, obviously we still want to look cool. So, yeah, you know, we're striking a balance. Um, but the priority falls more on us being light and flexible and able to play the entire day. All right, so let's dive into the loadouts. All right, so we're going to start with the bottom of the body and work our way to the very top. All right, so starting off with footwear. Personally, I think it's essential that your boots give you lots of ankle support. So I go for the high cut type boots. And yeah, you know, airsoft fields are pretty dangerous when it comes to ankles, you know, lots of BBs lining the floor and stuff. Super easy to roll your ankles. So definitely a high cut boot for me. Opie's running more like hiking uh, shoes with a low cut. He also has a pair of Lalos um, that he wears occasionally. Moving up the body, you'll see I'm wearing Invader Gear combat pants. These ones have integrated knee pads. They're not expensive pants, but they do the job and they're actually quite durable. And Opie's running the Revolution race pants with the knee inserts and he really likes it. It's very comfortable and very breathable. Okay, moving on to the belts now. So I run this belt from Direct Action, bought it off the Recon Bros website, and Opie runs a belt that's pretty much similar. I think he got his off Ali. So I really recommend you get a belt system that comes with the inner and outer Velcro belts. That way you can keep everything where it should be, and when you run around, your belt won't be bouncing up and down. It also, for me, keeps my holster in place um, a bit better. So I have my holster attached to my inner belt, and then the outer belt goes around that, and then the Velcro really holds it in place. Speaking of the holster, mine comes from the US, from Dara Holsters. I really love this thing. It's a drop offset and it doesn't have any, um, any button retention. Just basically click it in and pull it out. It's super fast and I really love it for CQB. Although the low cut um, can mean like dirt and, and dust and stuff can get into the gun and gum it up especially if you're playing outdoor and you roll around. Opie's holster is a Blackhawk Omnivore for the Surefire X300. It fits every pistol as long as it has that flashlight attached and comes with a QLS plate, so it's easily detachable from the uh, belt. Moving on to pouches. So I'm running Tasmanian Tiger pouches for both my main weapon and my pistols. And they work really well for both my AK and my M4 GBBRs. And Opie is running the Scorpion Mag pouches. I'm not too sure exactly where he got these from. I think it was also from Ali. The number of pouches on the belt will differ obviously depending on the field and the gameplay type. Um, but these days I've been running uh, two pouches for my main weapon on my belt. And and then maybe a pistol mag pouch. Um, I like to do most of my reloads off my belt. I, I just feel like it's a, it's a really good uh, natural motion. And then I'll have extra mags in my chest rig um, usually to supplement them. All right, moving on to the chest rigs. Opie and I are both running TMC replicas of the Spiritus System micro chest rig. Although we have ours set up a bit differently to each other. As you can see, OP is running his with the cummerbunds and a uh, speed QB backpack. The cummerbunds are really good because they just keep everything nice and like secure on the chest, but also give you a bit of breathability. 
Although I'm not a big fan of the backpack because y you can't actually access anything yourself. You need a buddy to, to get to the stuff, which I really think is pointless for a backpack. He also has inserts, which he uses, and he's got them for his SMG mags for the MP7 and for his AK slash M4 mags. Super easy to swap out and gives you that extra bit of flexibility in your kit. So mine is a bit more stock standard. I have uh, I made a small modification. I've changed out one of the straps for an elastic uh, strap and that just works really well, kind of like the cummerbund just to like hold it in place because you either, it feels like you either have to tighten it to the point where you can't take deep breaths or you have to loosen it up for the deep breaths and then it's like bouncing around when you run. So definitely a bit of elastic is, is definitely helping. So these days I mostly run this chest rig when I'm playing with my AKs, because uh, it works really well with the AK mags. I also added these Molly side wings, which let me attach an extra pistol mag and a grenade pouch. I've also recently purchased this replica of the T-Rex Arms chest rig. I really like this thing, especially for CQB because it, it's just so small and it sits so nice and snug against the body. The only thing is getting mags back into the pouches can be a little annoying, but since I'm doing most of my reloads off my belt and then I'm doing, uh, I'm rotating fresh mags out of my chest rig into my belt whenever I have a chance to do that. So for me, that doesn't really bother me as much. And I got this off AliExpress and it's actually pretty, pretty decent quality. I think what I'll do is I'll play with this until it breaks. And then when it does, I'll just buy the T-Rex Arms one. For my backpack, I run a Tasmanian Tiger 10 liter, which is a nice small backpack. And I only run this when I'm playing on outdoor fields. For CQB, I will leave this backpack at the spawn with BBs and gas and water. Uh, but when we play outdoor, I will chuck it on top and I'll make sure it's on top of my sling. so I I can easily access my gas and BBs when I need to. All right, so moving on to headgear. For face protection, we recently switched to the MB Tactical Mesh and Balaclava combo, and we really love this thing, so definitely highly recommended and a great product from MB Tactical. So we're both running helmets all the time. Uh, initially, that was just because it gave us the best camera angle for, for the gameplay videos, but after bashing our heads against stuff multiple times and like really avoiding concussions thanks to the helmet we now just always run helmets whether we're playing indoor cqb or outdoor uh, these are just you know airsoft replica helmets i think they're from emerson if i remember correctly i bought these ages ago i have two and i run different helmet covers on each i have a black helmet cover uh, that's a mesh for cqb and then i have the novrich leafy camo helmet cover for outdoor. And Opie only has the one helmet set up with the black mesh cover. I think my helmet is actually a really interesting setup with quite a bit of tech on it. At the front, there's the GoPro obviously to record gameplay videos. At the back, I've got the X-Fog ventilation system to stop my goggles from fogging up. I also have sword ends uh, on the side with the arc rails, and I have the Battlelink Bluetooth mesh intercom on the top. So it's got everything from ventilation to communication, hearing protection, as well as my goggles, um, which are attached to the X-Fog. So it's this one piece that has all of that. And I, I think it's quite impressive, or at least I never imagined I'd have a helmet set up like this in Airsoft. I love the X-Fog. I would highly recommend it to you guys, especially anyone like me who's really sweaty. Uh, it just solved the problem of my goggles fogging up and now it's not even something I worry about anymore. So that was definitely worth the hundred bucks I spent on that. As far as the Battlelink intercoms, I have to say I'm biased, of course, because it's Opie and I's product, um, but we can't play without these things anymore. As far as we're concerned, they're essential. And honestly, while keeping in mind my bias, I have to say that nothing has changed the way we experience Airsoft more than running these Bluetooth intercoms. You know, being in contact with your mates all the time, easily being able to chat, keeping your eyes on the field and your hands on your replica. I mean, that adds so much to the gameplay experience. So Opie and I have mounted our Battlelink units differently in our helmet setups. But if you head to battlelink.com and check out the instructions page, you can see all the different ways you can mount your Battlelink into whatever head and face protection you wear. 
Moving on to slings, in this video I'm running a Tasmanian Tiger one point sling, but I also run the direct action two point padded slings, which are really, really nice, and I use those for my longer weapons. And lastly, gloves, uh, which is also an essential. Uh, Opie and I are running these mechanics gloves, which are really good, very durable, and yeah, they do the job really well. And that's it for the loadout video, guys. Obviously, to keep things kind of short, I skipped over some gear, so make sure you check the description for the full gear list. And if you guys have any questions about our loadouts, make sure to leave them in the comments. See you in the next one.